Calaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Murder Weekly. This episode is titled, The Missing Piece of the Puzzle. In early January, the usually serene town of Stonyfell was shaken by a grim discovery. The body of Zoe Harper, a young woman famed for her love of intricate puzzles, was found in her quaint cottage, surrounded by the icy grip of winter. The scene was peculiar. Zoe was seated at her dining table, a complex puzzle spread out before her, its pieces scattered as though she had been interrupted mid-solve. Detective Liam Wright, known for his methodical approach and keen observation skills, took on the case. As he stepped into Zoe's home, the puzzle on the table immediately caught his attention. It wasn't just any puzzle. It was a custom design featuring a montage of local Stonyfell landmarks. Liam began his investigation by interviewing those closest to Zoe. He sat down with Ava Chin, Zoe Harper's best friend at a local Stonyfell cafe. The cafe was cozy, a refuge from the biting January cold outside. Ava, a vivacious woman with an infectious laugh, was more subdued than usual, the weight of her friend's death evident in her eyes. Liam initiated the conversation gently. Ava, you mentioned Zoe was working on something special, a puzzle. Did she ever talk about feeling threatened or worried about someone? Ava shook her head, her long hair swaying. No, Zoe was always so absorbed in her puzzles. But, she paused, biting her lip, you should probably talk to Tyler, her ex. Liam leaned forward, interested. Tyler Mason? Yeah, Ava said, a faint blush coloring her cheeks. He's, well, he's hard to miss. Tall, handsome in a brooding kind of way and a chess whiz. They broke up a few months ago. It wasn't pretty. Liam noted the hint of admiration in her tone. Do you think Tyler might know something about what happened to Zoe? Ava hesitated, her gaze drifting. I don't know, but Tyler never really got over her. He could be charming and sexy, I guess, but also intense. He didn't take the breakup well, he might know something, or I don't know. Zoe loved creating puzzles that told a story, Ava explained. She was working on something special, said it was going to be her masterpiece. Next, Liam spoke with Zoe's neighbor, Ethan Turner, a friendly but somewhat nosy man. Liam got straight to the point. I'm trying to piece together Zoe's last few days. Did you notice anyone unusual around her house or anything out of the ordinary? Ethan thought for a moment. Well, Zoe kept to herself mostly, but she had visitors now and then. You should talk to Ava Chen, her friend. Always seemed a bit too interested in Zoe's life, if you ask me. Maybe even a bit jealous. Liam noted Ethan's suggestion. Jealous? In what way? Ethan leaned closer, lowering his voice. Ava didn't like how close Zoe and Tyler were. Tyler Mason, the chess player. Good-looking guy. I think Ava had the hots for him. Jealous of Zoe, perhaps? Liam considered this new angle. Anything else you can tell me about Zoe? Ethan's gaze lingered a moment too long before answering. Zoe was attractive in her own way, smart, independent. She had these curves that she didn't bother to hide, even in her simple clothes. It's a shame what happened to her. The detective sensed an underlying tone in Ethan's remarks, a hint of unspoken admiration, or perhaps something more. Thanking Ethan for his time, Liam left with a new perspective. Ava's potential jealousy and Ethan's subtle yet noticeable attention to Zoe's physical appearance added complex layers to the investigation. The puzzle of Zoe's life and death was becoming more intricate with each conversation. Amidst the investigation, Liam returned to the puzzle. He noticed something peculiar one of the puzzle pieces was missing. This wasn't like Zoe, who was meticulous about her hobby. 
He examined the image on the puzzle more closely and realized that the missing piece corresponded to a specific location in Stonyfell, the old lighthouse on the outskirts of town. Deciding to follow this lead, Liam visited the lighthouse and found the missing puzzle piece hidden under a rock. It was a deliberate placement, a clue left by the killer. On the back of the piece was a cryptic message written in what appeared to be Zoe's handwriting. Seek the king in his castle. Detective Liam Wright stood outside Tyler Mason's modest apartment, the cold, stony fell air biting at his skin. He had been here before, questioning Tyler about his whereabouts on the night of Zoe Harper's murder. But now, with the cryptic message found on the puzzle piece and the connection to Tyler's chess expertise, Liam felt a tightening knot of certainty. He knocked firmly. Tyler, a tall man with an athletic build and an air of arrogance, opened the door. His face, usually marked with a confident smirk, faltered upon seeing Liam. Detective Wright, back again? I told you everything I know, Tyler said, attempting to maintain his composure. Liam stepped inside without waiting for an invitation, holding up the puzzle piece. I found this at the old lighthouse. Seek the king in his castle. Ring any bells, Tyler? Tyler's eyes flickered to the puzzle piece, then away, a hint of nervousness betraying his cool demeanor. It's just a puzzle piece, detective. Zoe was full of riddles and games, Tyler replied, his voice steady but lacking its usual conviction. Liam observed him closely. It's not just any puzzle piece, Tyler. It was deliberately placed, a clue left behind, and it led me straight to you, the chess king in his castle. Tyler scoffed, but his facade was cracking. You think I killed her over a game? That's absurd. Liam leaned in, his tone firm. It's not about the game, Tyler. It's about what Zoe represented, something you couldn't control or win against. Your alibi for that night was weak. You were seen near her house. Now, this clue... Tyler's resistance began to crumble under the weight of the evidence and the intensity of Liam's gaze. His shoulders slumped, and his voice, when it came, was barely above a whisper. I didn't mean for it to happen, Tyler murmured, his eyes moistening. I just wanted to talk to convince her to come back, but she laughed, said she was better off without me. I couldn't handle it. Liam listened as Tyler recounted the events of that fateful night, a confrontation that turned deadly in a moment of uncontrolled rage. It was a confession that brought closure to the case, but offered little solace. As Tyler was taken into custody, Liam reflected on the tragic irony. A puzzle enthusiast's life unraveled by a man who couldn't piece together his own emotions, leading to a final, deadly game where nobody won. Murder Weekly is a Calaroga Shark media production, written and hosted by Aidan I. Flanagan, produced by Mark Francis, executive producers Mark Francis and John McDermott. Calaroga Shark Media 